Okay, so um, this is the uh, bench rest and the final shaping portion of the video. And the first thing I need to show you is this. <clears throat> this is called a bread scraper. And you can get one of these that is this metal one with the wooden handle or you can get a plastic one or whatever. But this is probably a really necessary tool for this portion. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend you getting one. Or else it's gonna make this part really hard, okay? So, I'm gonna take the towel off. And you can see here's kind of our dough that's ready. And you can see that there's uh, some, some activity here, which is great. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my hand wet. And I'm gonna dump this out. I pre-floured this surface. And I just kinda like use my wet hand to scrape the dough out. I don't wanna pull it too much. I wanna be really gentle and slow with it. Okay. See that I have kind of a nice circle there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flour this and cut it in half so I, so I get my two loaves. So I keep these jars here. You can see I have bench flour and I made the I took these plastic lids that used to be my wife's lids and I drilled holes into them. She might just be finding that out. Um, and I have cornmeal which I'll show you tomorrow. Oh, I'll actually show you that later in this video and rice flour, which I'll show you later in this video. But I take the bench flour one, which the bench flour is just white flour. And I just kind of lightly dust the top. And then I more or less just kind of eyeball. I take my bread scraper, I eyeball half, and then I just kind of cut and separate like that. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get this half, flip it over onto the flour side flip it over onto the floured side there. <clears throat> then my next step is to use my bread scraper to kind of circle these lumps of dough so that they become a nice round shape. And the way that I do that is kind of like driving a car. So I start over here, like I'm making a right hand turn. And I just keep my hand on it. You'll see that it, it kind of slowly pull it off of the bread scraper there. And I just use my other hand to slightly Hold it in place while I'm shaping it. And I want to be gentle with this, and I want to go slow. It doesn't need to be fast. And as I do this, you can see that the flour surface kind of wraps around the top, and the dough becomes really soft to the touch. All right, and that's ready for bench rest. Now I'll do the same thing with the other one here. And you can use the whatever surface works for you. A tiled surface would probably be the hardest one to do this on if you had those like six inch square tiles on your countertop. That'd be tough to do this. But sometimes I do it on the counter here, sometimes I do it on this cutting board. Pull that off and then I just lightly dust the top, just the very top. I don't want to add too much flour at this point. And I take my towel, move it over the top and then that's going to rest for 30 minutes and then we'll be back for the final shaping in just a bit. Okay, so uh, we are ready for the final shaping and it's actually pretty quick and pretty easy. Uh, my only tip is to work pretty quickly um, and not let it sit and not go slow or else it'll not work too well. So take the towel off and then I dust the top just again just lightly um, and then I take my bread knife again bread scraper I should say and I take one of these and I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push underneath hold with my hand flip it over on this side down here it goes okay so now this exposed side you'll feel is kind of wet and a little bit more doughy than the top and I let this top part sag by pulling it up and I fold it over like that. Then I take these two corners and I pull them out like this and I go one and I hold this with my thumb right here, two. Okay? Then I take the bottom and I do the same thing that I did with the other side, sag it, fold it, and then I flip the whole thing over. 
I shouldn't have done it that hard. I'm trying to work a little bit faster. And I just kind of lightly flour that, lightly flour my hands. And then this process is real gentle. You're just taking it and turning it to the right like I did earlier with the bread scraper when I was doing the bench rest, but with your hands only. And what I like to do is I like to kind of run my hands underneath the bottom of the dough. That kind of creates this nice little tight shape and you'll feel the top of the dough start to tighten and get this tension, that's what you want. You can see I'm being real gentle and slow here. And then I'm gonna let that sit, grab my proofing basket. And my proofing basket has, you know, it's a, a regular proofing basket, has a little netting in there. What I like to do is take my rice flour and I flour that. And then I sometimes like to take my cornmeal and I'll kind of do a little cornmeal top. That's just because I like that. What do you, you don't have to do that. Don't feel like you gotta copy me. Do your own thing. Add seeds, poppy seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds. You do you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more flour there, a tiny bit more flour on my hands. Gently lift this up turn it upside down and gently put it right there in that basket, just like a little baby. Rock it like that. Um, and then I'm gonna take my cornmeal and just again, a light little dusting, just very light, rice flour. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the second one. I'll do it a little faster, do it at my normal speed for you guys. So you can see I kind of just work it into the circle. I'm, just, I'm not really pushing on it or anything like that. I'm being really gentle. It's about ready. And then here we go with basket number two. Put that rice flour in there. This one I'm not gonna do more. Meal. Go right in there. Put cornmeal on the bottom. I like to do cornmeal on the bottom because it just, when it gets baked, on the bottom of the pan, it adds this really nice rounded flavor, in my opinion. I do rice flour. And then, I take my towel one more time. And I cover both of these. Bring water to the fridge. And this is gonna go in the fridge overnight. I have a little special spot for them and they'll be there till the morning when we will bake. And that's when I will see you friends for one more video.